Hello, it's John here for an A52 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be attempting to make the Rick and Morty portal in After Effects. So, ultimately, what we're going towards creating is a portal. I'm going to do this in Unreal Engine, and it's sort of a sort of tribute to like this is like we've done A52 tutorials, it's been operating for a year now, and about this time last year, I uploaded a portal video there. That was quite good, that was just unreal, just trying to get used to sort of like the basics and like teach the basics and how it all operates. But here we are. Okay, let's do this now. We're going to do this in a bit more detail and be a bit more complicated than the previous one. So we're in After Effects and I've just created a simple 1024 by 1024 canvas. And this is where we're going to hold our textures. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a circle and I'm going to go for just a green circle with a gradient. Now, the whole idea behind creating this as a circle is that we're gonna be able to get more detail out of this. And with the rotation, it means with the rotation, it's gonna rotate in a nice circular way. Wouldn't be able to rotate that very well. So I'm just getting the right tones of green set up and ultimately this is just going to be our base. So now I've got the base set up, I'm ready to go ahead and do the next part. And I'm going to make the, the, like the low tones slightly different. I'm not going to do this as a full circle, like the base, I'm going to do this as just I'm going to create a really thick stroke around the outside, which is going to house the actual effect. And what I'm going for is trying to just create like a bit of depth in the image, but not consistent as well. So I don't want it to be consistently through. And what I'm doing is I'm just duplicate again, Control D. And this is going to be the highlights, which again, I don't want it to sort of be everything. I almost want like a, a bit of separation between the low lights and high lights. And that's why I'm just using the stroke. One's going to be around the outside and one will be on the inside. So now I've got those set up. I'm just going to name them, hit the old enter button and name them. And I'm ready to start putting my effects on. So the first effect, if I can find my effects panel, because it's not on, the first effect that we're going to need is a fractal noise. And fractal noise is, it's good for getting like different effects and if you want like for textures and creating sort of different stuff and you can get lots of different outcomes by using this technique. So what I'm going to go for is a soft linear and it's just going to be how that gets sort of like blended into the actual image. So right now it's not looking that portly but you know we're going to just keep throwing effects on there to get that. And the first one, well the next one sorry, is going to be a Gaussian blur. And the reason I'm using the blur is to try and separate the lighter parts from the dark parts. It's going to look like you know it's clumping the images together. And building on top of that, we're going to add a distort twirl. And again, this is just going to mix that blur and create, you know, like as you can see on the screen. Let's apply a cartoon now and. The whole thinking behind the cartoon is I can use it to try and get an effect that's not too, you know, it's got not got too many color values and with too many color values we'd start to look almost realistic and probably don't want to do that considering we're based in South African Multi which is a cartoon. Ultimately, you'd probably get like if you wanted a really sort of faithful recreation of Rick and Morty, 
with the portal from that, you'd probably be best actually just drawing it, like hand drawing it yourself. But I was sort of interested in just experimenting with the different effects and see if we can sort of achieve it that way. So now I've done the cartoon, I'm just going to add a ripple on, and as you can see, what the ripple does is it sort of makes it the twirl less uniform. So it's going to give some areas like a bit more sort of blending together and make it less streamy. And at this point now, it's just going to be a case of trying to get the color balance right. And what I'm going to do is select all of my effects from here and I'm going to place these, paste them onto my highlights. Which I mean, that right there I think looks pretty good if we were just sort of wanted one part. We could have multiple layers of this. But ultimately I'm thinking long term and moving this across to like Unreal and limiting the amount of like textures and layers and all that stuff that we could go and go and have going on. So changing the blend mode on the midpoint just to help it sort of mix in and so a bit of a look see what's going to be a nice mix multiply is too dark but I'm, I'm quite happy with darken I think that gives it a nice effect and I'm just going to sort of have a bit of a flick through lighting looks okay yeah I'm just going to see what we can find see what looks good Cool, cool dodge will work for now. And I'm just gonna tweak the values because I don't want it to have the same effect as the outside ring. Another thing I'm gonna do is reverse the twirl. And that should hopefully give the effect like a sense of depth, different sense of depth. I'm just going to close the blending modes a bit. Didn't actually mean to click divide, but that actually looks, looks quite good, quite nice. And just playing with that contrast, try and get the right sort of levels of brightness and white out of that without going too far. And that's it's looking decent. Cool, let's have a, a look as well at some of the other effects and see if we can sort of get a better mix. Alright, let's put that layer back on and see how it all works together. What I'm going to do is select them all and pre-compose them, so just put them in a little group so I can, you know, get a bit of an idea about what the final outcome is going to look like. And here I'm just going to put a ripple on there. Well, I'm actually going to put two. And I'm going to use this to create the shape, the outside shape. Because as you know, the Rick and Morty portal is not just a smooth circle. So control D, duplicate that, put one over the other side and tweak these values so you're loosely happy with them. And finally, we're going to want to scale. So you need to untick the uniform scale and we're going to make it a bit more oval-like. All right, looking all right there. Let's add a rotation to these as well. I'm not sure how much we'll sort of see this, but it might be so sort of give it a subtle effect. We could alternatively keyframe the twirl, but the rotation will be sort of subtle enough. And we're going to do the same on 
this one reverse the rotation and let's see what the final fit looks like ultimately I think pretty good I think so like the ripple looks nice it's also working together it doesn't look perfectly but I mean I could tweak and change the ripple if needed but for now that's pretty good I'm happy with that just gonna have a look see if it might be worth changing the size so these get a bit more of an effect out of my highlights I'm going to do the same for the mids as well. Let's see how that looks now. Again, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. There's a bit of bleeding over the edge at the bottom. Well, I think I've scaled the mids too largely. I need to probably bring them back into size. But there you go, that's creating the effect. And next, we're going to take it into Unreal. Hope you've found that useful. Thanks for watching.